Hey guys, Julia here. Um, I'm gonna get a new stand thing because this just hasn't been working, but we're gonna do what we can with what we have. I'm Julia, I run a fashion style blog, Julia Marie B, where I focus on helping, nope, inspiring and helping you to maximize your wardrobe by making smart strategic purchases. Uh, today we are doing a rule of five, a rule of five. The rule of five is my number one shopping rule that I created to help me maximize my wardrobe by making smart strategic purchases. In short, the rule of five is before you purchase a new item, I don't know where the hell to look. I think I'm supposed to look here. Before you, <laughs> I'm gonna figure it out. Before you purchase a new item, you have to think of five ways that you can style this item with pieces already in your closet. So today we are going to style this faux fur coat that I got from H&M that is currently sold out, but I will link some similar options for you. So before you, I purchased this faux fur coat, I had to think of five different ways that I could wear this coat with the items I already own. So you have to create five new outfits, or you have to create five outfits head to toe with items already in your closet featuring the new piece that you would like to purchase. I mean, it's a fur coat. You can literally just throw this over anything and you'll be good to go. I wear it with sweats and sneakers all the time. Um, so that is the rule of five. There is a free ebook. If you want to download the ebook, learn more about the rule of five, how to implement it, how to create your, <clears throat> what is it called? Your capsule wardrobe, the story behind the rule of five, where I was in life, why I created it, why I needed to create it because of where I was at in life. All that's free on juliemariebee.com. That'll be linked in the description box below. And whatever, let's get started. Yay! So this is our first look. For each one, I'm gonna show you the base first and then I'll throw on the coat over it just so you can get an idea of what we're actually wearing. First look is just an oversized men's um, hoodie. I think I bought this one at Target. It did fade a lot, so I would... Is it the white black one I didn't love? Yeah, I didn't love the black one, but I really, I bought one from H&M that's white and I really, really loved it. So I would like to upgrade this. Um, I just went a size up on the hoodie um, just so that it would cover my butt and vagine. Paired it with some Spanx, the Spanx leather leggings and just white sneakers. These are the uh, Puma Callies. I absolutely love these. I wear these a few days a week. They go with everything. Very, very much my look. So this is our base, oversized hoodie, leggings, white sneakers. Let's throw on the coat. I was whining in the other room, so I had to bring him out so he can sit and see where I'm at. So we threw on the coat. Um, and then I did purchase this coat this year from H&M. It was a new purchase. Um, I didn't roll a five it because I knew I had like 20 different ways I would wear it. Oh, look, I never noticed there's a whole, there's a button. Oh, I never noticed the button. Okay. Um, anyways, so the hoodie I bought last year from Target, Spanx leather leggings I got over the summer, as well as the sneakers. Um, this is just a super duper casual look. This is like my everyday look. I know some people, they're like, oh, fur, you need to dress it up. I don't. I think it's very chic, very stylish, very like street style to wear it. So just wear it casually over some like leisure leisure wear. Okay, so our base for this look is just this ribbed midi dress with a nice little slit to above the knee. I'm 5'4", just so you know. I will have everything linked. A lot of it is sold out, um, but I will have everything linked. This dress I purchased earlier in the season from H&M. The booties are from Splendid. I bought these last year. Um, and then let's, oh, what am I thinking about? Hold on one second. So we're gonna pair this look with not only the booties, but we have a, a clutch MCM purchased uh, in spring, I believe, spring of this year. This is definitely for like a going out look. And once you see the faux fur coat added, you're gonna wanna know where you're going. Me too. I think this may be one of my favorite looks. Uh, fun fact, I don't try anything on. I usually just go with it the day of. Um, I do plan the outfits. But usually this is like the first time trying some of the outfits on. And you will notice if you watch multiple rule of five videos, I wear a lot of the same stuff over and over again. That is because I actually do maximize more wardrobe. I do want to get as much wear out of everything that I purchase. Even if something is gifted, I want to get as much wear out of it as possible. 
none of this is gifting. I sure wish it was, but none of it is. <laughs> All right, so for this look, I'm very proud because this is, there's only two full black looks <laughs> this time. <laughs> I feel like a lot of my recent rule of five videos, like all but one have been all black. We only have two all black looks this uh, this time around. So that's a win. I have a, um, this is a, it's kind of, it's a shaper, but a bodysuit like mock turtleneck uh, that was gifted by Yummy. I absolutely love it. It's really, really good. I would purchased a lower quality one from like Target for $12 and I haven't touched it since um, I received this in. I have too much caffeine, so I can't breathe. Um, <laughs> let's just say no to caffeine. So we have this mock turtleneck that I received uh, maybe like a month ago. And then I have these black, uh, they are the black sea denim from Madewell. Very good. I think I got these two years ago. They uh, bring them out in fall and winter. And then I have these uh, Gucci dupes that I found on Amazon. I will, I bought them to see if I'd actually wear them. I will, so I I feel comfortable investing in the actual Gucci loafers now. If you're not sure before you purchase something, get like a look-alike. See if you wear it. If you wear it, then you can invest. So this is our base for this look. Throw on our faux fur for all of the rich auntie vibes. We have our Louis Vuitton Alma BB. Both um, purchased this year. What was I going to say? Oh, I think this is one of our like dressier looks. Like you can definitely dress this out date night, girls night out, uh, still casual with the shoe. You can add a pump or a heel or a booty, like a heeled booty, if that's more your vibe. That's not my vibe, that's why I'm wearing these. Um, I would wear sneakers with this to be quite honest. I'd wear these shoes or sneakers, that's it. But you wear your heels. For another casual look, and I feel like this may be our most casual, we just went super basic with a white hoodie and um, slim boy jeans. This is the men's hoodie that I've got from H&M that I prefer over the black hoodie that I got from Target. They're about the same price as well. The Madewell jeans, are these are from Madewell, I've already told you that already. Um, I got these two years ago, and then I just have the mini classic Ugg boots, which I actually got this summer with my, um, my Nordstrom points. <laughs> so this is the base of this look. For a slight elevation, we're gonna cross body the Alma BB. Louis Vuitton's a little elevated, so that would be the elevation part, but we're cross bodying it, which keeps it a little bit casual. Let's give you a full idea of that, and then we'll go with the coat. And now we have our fur coat thrown over. If you are as casual and extra as I am, this is for you. This is definitely good for running errands, um, shopping, I don't know, whatever you wanna do like on a Saturday, but you don't feel like getting dressed and you're like, this is gonna do, but you don't wanna be cold, you throw on the coat. The coat and the boots alone are gonna keep you warm. You might need some earmuffs, but super casual, but chic and elevated at the same time. Okay, for our final look, <laughs> oh, for our final look, we have a knit lounge set. Uh, this one I literally just purchased from Express during their Black Friday sale. I'm having, if you're from the Insta story fam, you know, I'm having a dilemma. Like, do I keep this? Don't I keep it? I love it. I'm obsessed with it. I just committed to returning it maybe two hours ago. And five minutes after I committed to that, I saw a girl wearing it and she looks so freaking cute. She had hers on with like just mini Ugg boots. Um, mine won't stay. I need them to stay up, but they're not. Um, I absolutely, I still love it. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do yet. Um, for sizing, just so you know, I did go down a size on the bottom. I typically wear a medium on my bottom, um, and I'm between sizes right now where I'm between a medium and a large, and I went down to a small in the bottoms. And then in the top, it's actually a very fitted crop top, um, where it's like skin tight if you get your size, or maybe if you go down a size. So I went up a size. So I'm wearing a large in the top and a small in the bottom, and typically I would wear all mediums. Um, this is our base, and I paired it with the Gucci loafers. I'm gonna try it with the Ugg boots after this. I might show you, I might not, we'll see. And let's get our accessories, our coat and our bag. So here we have it with the um, fur coat and then the uh, Louis Vuitton Alma BB. Now, if you don't, if this looks too much like pajamas for you, which I get it, I understand, I'm there with you. 
Um, I still love it and I would still wear it to Target, <laughs> but if this is too much like pajamas with you, just envision a sweatsuit on underneath, like a, a nice little champion set. You know I love a champion sweatsuit set. Um, and then you could do literally the same exact look just with a, uh, a sweatsuit set. I don't, I'm so undecided. I'm gonna have to do like a poll and decide whether I'm keeping this or not. I probably will could keep it. Okay. All right, that's all.